African summer. 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 African summer is time to show our African swag. African summer to me is bewitching. And I say that because now I feel as if the spell is finally over and only now can I actually appreciate growing up in Nigeria. See, growing up in Nigeria along with my friends, we spent a majority of our time in school. We had evening classes, we had Saturday classes, and then we had mandatory summer classes. And so with the days being shorter, it just meant coming home and actually having to spend a longer time at home and playing with your family and just, even if it meant, you know, calling up in a corner and reading a book, that's, that was what was truly my, and will always be my African summer. My African summer, my Nigerian summer to me is home. African summer is family, food, and festivities. Every year, my mom's hometown, Umoji, hosts an annual convention during the 4th of July weekend, and it's a perfect, perfect time for all my family and friends from all around the United States to come together and have a little mini family reunion and just be able to catch up since we haven't seen each other since the previous year. And I love how we're able to just come together, cook food, serve food, enjoy food, enjoy our culture, celebrate our culture, and just remember where we came from. African summer. So sweet. Hey, my name is Obino Okani, and my name is Obichuko Sir. And African summer to me, on DJ, um, that's what the evil say, and that means it's different. Um, it's fun from seeing family and it's exciting uh, when it comes to like festivals that happen all throughout the summertime in various places and overall just exhilarating an experience that is different in and of itself. Um, African summer to me is uh, exciting intense it's um eye open there's no time you, you can go anywhere in Africa and not find out something new and like you know you go there and it engulfs you completely in the culture and it's delicious it's it's everything you know it appeals to all your senses you know at the same time it's also very intense and it's like there's a lot of things always going on there's always new things to see and new people to meet places to go to me, African summer is having your aunts and uncles ask you how your studies are going when you're graduating and when you're getting married every day. African summer is dance, dance, dance. African summer is do not relate to the party. African summer is cookouts and conventions and family and drama and <laughs> fun. African summer is crazy. <laughs> Capture. Good. It's recording. I should stop it. Okay, yeah. So, when Bala and I first decided to work on um, African Summer and have a bunch of um, series, articles, and stories about it, we were so, we were like really giddy and excited. Just because of, when I think of an African Summer, it's just so much energy. It's just uncontainable amount of energy. There's music involved. There's dance involved. I think, especially once you've immigrated from emigrated from Africa, you know, and you live in a in a new place. When you think back on it, Africa is not just um, Nigeria to be specific. In my case, it's not just uh, a physical space. It's, it's an emotional space for you that you carry with you for the rest of your life. Really, I mean, it's just. The emotional resonance of that, and that's what we wanted to capture with a series of articles and stories. We wanted to share that with you, you know. Personally, um, thinking back on my childhood and summers I spent in Lagos, I was a total city kid. I mean, yeah, I mean, with the electricity being off and uh, strikes and uh, everything, you know. But one of my most memorable summers was actually um, when a cousin of mine, family friend from Quara, 
actually came into town and taught us all this games and you know all this like finger hand games and like people going in circles and us clapping it was just they were like cousins around you know my cousins yelling at each other cursing the hell out of each other all the time it was just a lot of chaos and when i think back it's just the chaos the warmth of that just the chaos and warmth of home you know it's the fighting over who gets the biggest piece of meat, you know, and the licking palm oil off my fingers and then stealing, <laughs> crawling into my grandma's like bedroom to like steal her, her fried meat. It's all of that. And that's the emotional resonance we wanted to capture with this. That's what we wanted to share with people with this feature. And besides the um, emotional and nostalgic past, there, the continent right now is just so wonderful the creative energy that's coming from it i mean you've got the color and the music in angola it's just amazing there's like fashion in nigeria there's um beadwork and jewelry in kenya and ghana there's the literature coming out of south africa and we just wanted to share that we wanted to celebrate both the nostalgic past and just the the hope of the future because what is what is summer without hope you know, what's summer without sun and hope and vibrance and all those wonderful things. So we really hope that all of those things resonate with you just as it resonates with us because that's what we really wanted to share with you. We wanted to share Africa both the physical and emotional space and we hope you enjoy it. Shell on my shadow, my yo, I'm a fame, shell me.